that there is no sideways market anymore. You either have people transferring out, people transferring in, or they've got a great new job and they're like, I don't care about the rate. But it's yeah. a lot of people locked into the threes and fours and yeah. they're gonna stay there for a bit. I did a, I built the COVID house around the corner. So it may be summer and people are out on the beach enjoying themselves. I'm standing here in front of this new construction in Rowayton. And you may say to yourself, well, what makes it so special? It's just in Rowayton. No. Your views. This is what you get to look at every day from the balconies here in Rowayton. It's a phenomenal opportunity for somebody. How you doing? Any help filming anything? Oh, I could always use help. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Mark Pyers with Coldwell Banker. I have a show called Explore Connecticut. Share a little bit about the market, yeah. but then I meet someone usually, or a business owner, or a new construction, that type of thing. Just trying to see if I can find new sellers, because there's not a lot out there, so I thought a new creative show daily. I just every day's a new experience. I just ran into yeah. you. Well, this guy owns this house up here, too. Oh, he does? So the house is being, he's going to sell this one, but he's, and he's renovating that one. I don't know what he's. He's going to flip this one out. Yeah. Is he an architect? No. He's just someone who owns some property. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. I, think. Oh. I mean, that one's insane. I mean, too. Unbelievable. You can't get it no, I mean the number on that one, especially in this yeah. market. You know, if a seller has a place to go right now, they can they can really do very well. It's just that's what I'm actually talking about today on the show. Is I'm noticing that there's no sideways market anymore. You either have people transferring out, people transferring in or they've got a great new job and they're like, I don't care about the rate. But it's yeah. a lot of people locked into the threes and fours and yeah. they're gonna stay there for a bit. I did a, I built the COVID house around the corner and, and I'm two, uh, two and a half percent for a 30 year. And I'm like, I, I Where the hell would you go? Yeah, you like, I'm happy with it, but if I wasn't happy, I'd be really complaining. You got out of the yeah. city at the right time. Yeah. I think it's a smart thing you did. What was your name? Bob Stockton. Yeah. Bob Mark nice Pyers. Mark Pleasure Mark to meet you. Based, uh, Carl, Carl Welba based, uh, so I was in New Canaan for 15 Canaan, years okay, and then now I moved, I walk to work now in Fairfield. Okay. So it's kind of perfect. Yeah, perfect. And uh, so my, that's where my wife was like a fourth generation Fairfield resident. Yeah. So my kids are fifth generation. I'll give you a card real quick if you. You never know, you may have a friend or two that uh, yeah, that needs some help. So I'm going to be a little creative for them. Okay, awesome. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much for saying hi. So currently in Norwalk, there's only 56 houses on the market. There are 65 that are ready to close in the next 30 to 45 days. And in the last seven days, there have been three trades, including a $2 million house here on Witch Lane in Rowate. This is the beach. You've got that house right here. So make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications on whatever channel you find this. I show up in a new town every day, try to meet with some people, give you some market advice, and hopefully I can help you navigate to a town that you could call home. Until next time, this is Mark Pyers with Coldwell Banker, and this is Explore Connecticut.